What's up guys, it's Abel and Zane here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to go from this photo over to this photo. Me and my subject here are going to be showing you how to bring out the highlights and the skin on an image. First order of operation, unlock your layer, double click it, go ahead and drag it down, duplicates it. Let's get that in full screen and we're going to jump into our exposure. Um, I like doing exposure on curves, not on actual exposure, so on curves I could better identify what areas are going to be affected by it. So you're going to raise the entirety of it. Let's go about... And I always expose for the highlights, so look for the highlighted areas. Make sure they don't blow out. And that will determine a properly exposed photo. There we go. That's perfect for me. Down the middle. The shadows even. There you go. Awesome. All right, there's the difference. Cool, so looking at Kira here, I'm gonna do things a little bit backwards this time. I'm going to firm out the background as much as I can to create that Vanity Fair look, which usually gives our subject an outer glow. Um, so typically that's done with the backdrop that the subject has. In this case, again, I'm gonna make it myself. Maybe this will help you guys out. So I'm going to grab a blank layer and go into my gradients. I'm going to do that one. And instead of it being this little rainbow thing, it's going to be, let's go with this one here. Okay, so we're going to screen it just like that. And the cool thing about this image, the background and the foreground is easily separated. So we're going to go ahead and tweak it all the way up. And I'm just going to erase. And grab my eraser, press E, the flow of 100 for the inside of the diameter, or inside of our subject. All right, so we just lower this opacity to about there. All right. So now let's get rid of this. What I'm gonna do is smoothen out the background so that it blends easier with this. So we got our exposure layer, now we're gonna create a transparent layer. I'm gonna grab our stamp tool, go very low, like at about a three there. We're gonna move everything over. What I mean by that is select the nearest area, for example here, and just transfer that over. Okay, looks good, looks great. Boom, 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 boom. Now we can go ahead and move in and edit Kira's face. So let's go ahead and create another layer. It's gonna be a curves layer. This curves layer is gonna be raised a bit. We're gonna do our dodging on this layer. So let's go ahead and get it half a block up. I'm gonna invert it and call this one dodge. Okay, now with this dodge layer, make sure you're clicking on the mask itself. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in there and even out the shadows on her face. So grab a brush, keep it really low. I do like a one or a two to begin with. And that makes this so much, so much easier, so much cleaner. So essentially what I'm doing with this is getting rid of those harsh shadows and creating a smoother blend of light and dark. Now that we got that dodge down, we're going to create another layer. We're going to call this one clean up. And this is going to clean up the blemishes and whatnot. First things first, let's go with this healing brush. We're going to use to get rid of the obvious blemishes like that. I think the cleanup crew did a pretty good job here. 
say there's a few smaller things that I would change. Um, the stamp tool, so I'm gonna go ahead and rush in and do that. So I'm gonna trust myself in believing that I've done a pretty damn good job of cleaning up the skin, comparatively speaking to how it was in the initial image here to where it is now. A um, few factors there, see that? And we cleaned up the hair. And we've come quite a long way and I'm gonna show you how far before, after. Now I'm gonna make another curve layer and this is gonna be for our shadows. Um, not shadows, sorry, for our burning. So we're going to go ahead and create a curves layer. This time we're going to drop it down below here, just like that. Ooh, that's far enough. And we're going to call this one Burn. And then we're going to invert it by pressing Command-I. And I'm going to use this Burn layer to bring out some of the details on her. Um, typically I go with dodging first, and then I burn. But in this case, Let's just do it backwards. See what that looks like initially. There you go. Very good. Okay, so since we're already on the on the burn, I'm gonna use that on the shadows of her face. Specifically the the shadows here. That will curve in the model's face a little bit and make it narrower. Now I'm just bringing out the shadows around the head. Very well, Kira. Now let's go ahead and jump in our dodge and I'm gonna show you how to bring out the eyes in a magnificent way. So let's go ahead and click out just about there. And we're gonna get a little crazy here. We're gonna up this to five crazy right um, and we're just gonna work with what we already have in this case the areas of the eyes that are lighter so we have this nice glow here given off from the umbrella we we're using I'm just gonna start from the center and move out to the outside same thing in this one inside to the outside inside to the outside I'm just gonna do it twice over these little spots nice and highlighted as well it here as well just around the cusp of the eye just like that awesome same thing on this side okay let's back it out you can see, if we look at the eyes, a very nice pop there. <laughs> All right, some more stuff I want to dodge here. Uh, the highlights around the eyes. So we've progressed quite a bit here. Let's see that progress. Look at you guys go, amazing. Now for the rest of the highlights, get back on your dodge layer, grab a brush at whatever opacity you see fit, and start highlighting. So there is our model, looking amazing. Um, other things I would highlight in this image is her hair, the areas that are affected by light. We're gonna go ahead and choose a color palette that best suits us. So let's go ahead and create another layer. This is gonna be color balance. We're gonna position this above the entirety of the image. We want the color balance to affect everything. So we're gonna lower down on the science just a bit to get those light blues where they need to be. We're gonna add a yellowish tint at about five, negative five there, diminish that. And we took it from this to this. It's a more balanced image as you can see. And it's definitely to my liking. 
Thanks so much for sticking around, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, drop a like and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.